Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to the 100th episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I'm very, very happy that they've made it this far because it is a hell of a show. Um, I know that a lot of people tend to pick the show up in Season 1 and because the first 10-15 episodes are a little bit patchy, um, they tend to give up on it. And I think for those of us who have endured and you know gotten past that, we've been treated to some really amazing episodes, some really amazing story arcs, um, amazing characters, you know, and twists. And I mean, in my opinion, it is one of the best TV shows that have been brought out, you know, in the last kind of five to ten years. Um, and it's just criminally underrated, I think. Um, you know, it should be getting much larger ratings than it is. So. You know, congratulations to everyone who works on S.H.I.E.L.D. on making it to 100 episodes. Um, but now we get to the point where we start having, having to worry because I saw an interview with Greg Clark and he did say that this episode was going to break people. And I don't like that because that means... That can only mean really one thing, which is a major character death. And I know that in most people's minds, or at least in my mind, the first person you think of is Phil Coulson because we know from previous episodes that they're saying that he is dying... Um, but I think that's too obvious and knowing how this show likes to do things I think there's someone else who they may have you know planned a death for um, it could be any one of the crew it could be Daisy because of um, you know the fear of her breaking the air for part you know it could it could be anyone it could be May it could be one of Fitzsimmons um, I'm just I don't know so this entire episode, I'm going to be really apprehensive until I know exactly what's going on. And um, who knows? if I think if Phil Coulson dies, then that would break me. It would break me, because um, I love Phil. But anyway, let's jump in, following on from the last episode, uh, where we saw they're back on Earth. The mother general and her daughter assassin, just really creepy. Um, Yo-Yo lost her hands. Which, someone pointed out to me that time is changing because in the previous timeline, she still had both her hands when she was on the lighthouse. However, they could have been prosthetic hands. Um, so there's a potential that the Kree chopped her hands off. Or there's a potential that we just didn't know about it and she had robotic hands, which I would expect. You know, if you can give Phil Coulson one hand, you can give Yo-Yo two hands. Anyway, why don't we jump into it? So, let's do it. Who is that? What is that? Okay, now it's getting creepy. Oh shit, is that a... Is that the tear from Doctor Who? Is that the tear in space time from Doctor Who? It followed us through here. Oh fuck! That's um... Oh shit, that's um from the second season. Oh, May's ex-husband. What was the name of this character? I think we're looking at what happens when three monoliths are blown up together. Oh shit, Someone yeah, the monoliths blew up as well. In space time. And that thing. Oh shit. Thing How many things are going to be coming back through for the past? Bleeding back into our world. Oh my god. They have the potential to put so, in everything here. The good news is Daisy might not be the one responsible for tearing the earth apart. Something for nerve pain. Whoa. Are the they just stealing? Ended. Don't. I thought he was going to eat it. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, my... Okay, snack time's over, Huckleberry. Someone's <laughs> waiting. Just to be clear, you and I have never had a moment. That was just you telling me a story about your very nice mom and an orange. Oh, fuck. Cree? What? Where the fuck did the Cree come from? Also, he's super pissed. That was an apparition? to do it without one of us possibly sacrificing ourselves oh fuck this is what it meant I knew something like this was gonna happen Deke. oh 
no. He's already done it once. I just got here. I just got to a world that's got ice cream and the sun and orange scented stuff. So no, 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 no. And in case any of you forgot, I already did the heroic sacrifice thing to get you all here. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm done. Yep. Oh, fuck. don't you dare do it, Phil. Military tactics one on one. You never jeopardize a general when a soldier can do the You're job. You're not just a soldier. Not anymore, like it or not. You can't throw yourself on the grenade. You're doing that right now. You have to wait consequences. Wait, no, hold on. That's ex you're doing exactly what you're telling me not to do right now. Yeah. You're putting yourself at risk when my very existence here is dangerous. I'm looking at the big picture. You're needed for the future, Daisy. The future? T to lead? That's my god, you really want to risk their lives again? They've been through enough. And guess what, Colson? That's it. <sighs> that's everybody. No, yeah. that's not it. There's an idea, a symbol that must continue no yes. matter what. A shield. And I'm I need you to Oh crap. I need you to He's gonna collapse. Oh fuck. So he won't be able to sacrifice himself then because he's passed out. Cure this. The tissue is already dead. There is no cure for that. At least, not anymore. I can only surmise that it's progressing at a rapid rate. So, what is that? So, how do you stop it? What are you? He's dying. Uh uh. I'm not accepting that. There is no Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. about Phil Coulson. You've known since Ghost Rider, haven't you? I didn't know how to tell you. Is that what the deal was? And I didn't think I should. That's the deal you made. Whatever alien voodoo was holding me together, Ghost Rider burned through it. I didn't want to go through all that. Yeah, he's I not did. even through it once. So you just <clears> give <throat> up? You don't get to do that. You make life and death decisions for us all the time. And we're not allowed the same courtesy. After everything, we deserve to. We deserve to know. How much more time does he have on this clock? Oh dear. I won't be able to tell until I can chart its progression. But even now, he's at risk of various. Check on Daisy. You did this wrong, Phil. You put too much on her today. You should have told us. So I understand now. So that wound is from when he got stabbed by Loki and the process to bring him back was preventing that dead tissue from killing him I can't do it. and then when he made the You've deal always been capable of more than you imagined. it stopped that magic science thing he suffered enough we've all suffered enough oh shit oh that's her fear Oh, it's an LMD. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I don't want to be greedy. It's time no, to be greedy. Else. Fuck it, you deserve it. For Daisy. No, Phil, you won't be around forever. And despite appearances to the contrary, neither will you. We need fresh blood to lead the team. Yeah, it's more but. More than a team. And you know it. Yeah. Lash is going to be out there down there. Who's that? Just shoot, Phil. Hello, Agent Colson. Oh, fuck. Just shoot. It's time I told you what's really going on. No. No, it's not. It's an effigy. 
Nothing to be afraid of. But this is all in your head. Are you telling me that I'm still in Tahiti? No, Colson, I'm telling you that no. you've never been to Tahiti. What? Or Malta? Or Puerto Rico? Or outer space? No, or he's... The framework? Just shoot him. the future? <clears throat> You're on the table, Colson. Code blue. No, this is not him. We can't just in between death. To do just <clears throat> that we hang tight. No one... Or that your brain is being stimulated with electricity to revive it. And your conscience is trying to make sense of random Oh, I've seen this before. Off in your brain. Anyone seen Star Trek Voyager? That's not true. You know it's true. Loki ran a when the doctor your heart and we are desperately trying to bring you back. Was in that simulation in the holodeck. And they were trying to convince him he was a real person. Mr. Stark said anything he needs. Mr. Stark. It's trying to find a way out. Phil, come on. Aircraft incoming. Oh shit, the military Did found him. The Quinjet. That's the Quinjet that requesting permission to land. Do you read? Shield? Shield? What? <clears throat> Who is this? <laughs> oh, he's actually there. Mike's there. <laughs> they brought the cavalry. You're ready. No. Phil. Let's go together. Do not believe him. Phil, come on. You're stronger than this. Sorry, Mike. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Then I'll take you myself. Yes. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Wilson, pick up the doodad. Let's go. That's not Ward. That's going to be... What? Oh, fuck. It's... Oh, it, it's... Oh, what? Hive. It's Hive. Me? Am I stolen just now? <laughs> I don't think so. Because the elevator stopped like a minute ago. <laughs> Are they getting married? That's what he wanted? He wanted Simmons, Fitzsimmons to get married whilst he was still alive? That's the symbol? Ah! No! Oh, fuck. This is tearing me up more than when Phil was talking about dying. Why? Why? Why is this tearing me up more? That's the festivities. <laughs> oh, for God. Ah. Oh. The only wedding dress at the second hand shop, apparently. <laughs> he couldn't find you a kilt. Uh, no. Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today for a moment we all knew was coming. Some this is what they meant by breaking. These two did. And I think we can all agree this is what's going to break the fans. To do this is playing with fire. I had to write it down. Fitz. I knew from the moment I saw you, from our first conversation about dielectric polarization, that you'd be in my life for a long time. But I didn't know you would be my life. 
my heart, my home. We joined this team for adventures and got more than we had hoped. I can't wait for our next adventure. Building a family together. <laughs> my love for you grows deeper and always will. No matter where the universe takes us next. That could be anywhere, literally. See full cyborg or yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is it fits? Uh um <clears throat> Okay, um I'll be thinking about what to say. Uh, but he hasn't had time to write mouse. Words don't really seem enough. I think that you are perfect. But, um, I don't deserve you, Gemma. I don't, I don't deserve you. And I'm well aware that I'm the luckiest man on any planet. Okay, let's have the rings. Quickly. Please, before this forest collapses around us. <laughs> I don't know. Thinking Deke Shaw could possibly be an LMD. I ran a genetic profile to see if he was biologically linked to anyone. And it came up with a match? Uh-oh. No. It came up with two. Who's he linked to? Don't tell me he's their son. No! 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 The powers vested in me. No! All by the two of you. No. I'm so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. No. And make kiss the bride. That's so weird. <laughs> oh. Deke is their son. How does that work? Maybe not their son, but he's... So what about you? The bride or groom? The grand. The grandson. The grandson. He said a ring like his grand used to own. Oh. Okay, so we can now add Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to the very small list of shows that made me cry. Um, that show... I mean, I understand now what they meant by this episode is going to break you. And it wasn't in a bad way, it was in a good way. You know, obviously all the talk of Phil dying, you're thinking, oh shit, this is going to be it. And then they just whammy you at the end with the wedding. And then they whammy you again with... You know, Deke being the grandson of Fitz and Simmons. Um, oh, jeez. That episode, Lee, yeah. That was an emotional roller coaster. I understand now. Phil has not been dying because of anything that happened in the lighthouse. He's been dying since... Well, I mean, technically, since he was brought back. That wound that Loki caused was being stopped from spreading, you know, it's being stopped from killing him by whatever the Tahiti project did. And, that, you know, when he made the deal with Ghost Rider, it broke through that. And it's been, you know, basically death has been spreading. Um, you know, his, his normal body has been returning to the state that it was when he got stabbed. And, um, yeah, that's a really difficult one to try and figure out how do you, uh, how do you stop that, you know? Um, so, I, I mean, I do have a really bad feeling about the rest of the season in terms of Phil. Um, but that was an amazing episode to celebrate, you know, 100 episodes. Um, they didn't go all out and bring... I mean, when the first episode first started, I was thinking to myself, okay, so they've got this rift that introduces fear. They could bring... Well, when they were talking about other dimensions, I was thinking they could bring anyone back. Um... You know, with regards to previous characters in different dimensions. Um, you know, specifically thinking Grant Ward. Um, but they didn't go overboard, which is the temptation sometimes to do. Is to just shove everyone who you, who's been in the show back into one episode. And kind of over cluster it, you know, and really kind of confuse things. But no, they, they did 
a little tribute to Grant Ward with the whole hive appearance. And at first, when I saw the long coat, I was thinking, that looks like Grant Ward. And then it panned up and I was thinking, this is going to be Grant Ward. And then it was Hive. And I was like, ah, crap. Um, but no, that was that was great. I mean, the whole thing with Phil's fear reminded me of the Star Trek Voyager episode with the Doctor, where he gets stuck in a holodeck accident. And he's a hologram. And the holodeck is trying to convince him. You know, he's having some sort of program malfunction where he's trying to be convinced he's actually a real person and he needs to destroy the holodeck. Whereas if he had have done that, he would have destroyed his own program. You know, and it was kind of like that battle between being convinced that you're in one place as one person versus your belief that you are another. And it works really well. Um, you know, and it worked quite well here because everything they said make, made sense. You know, it this program is very far-fetched by the terms of reality. You know, Ultimate Dimensions, um, you know, Matrix-style computer networks, um, going into the future, into space. You know, so for the average person, you would think that this could well be a comatose dream. Um, but thankfully, you know, obviously Phil had better sense than that. And then Deathlock coming back. Um, it was just a really, really amazing episode, and, uh, God, it did kind of emotionally break me a bit. See, even, even with those lovely moments at the very end, they still know how to whammy you with something extra. You know, and again, Deke being the grandson, um, you know, that kind of, that kind of gave us that we had this, oh, that's a really sweet moment to being like, oh shit, he's related to them. You know, so that's, yeah. Wonder how the military are going to react to that because, you know, apparently he's blood related to both Fitz and Simmons, which can only be possible if they had a baby because they're not brother and sister. Or they're not, they're not linked, you know, they're not blood related themselves. Um, that would be really weird. Um, so they must hy hypothesize that there is some kind of time travel going on now. Anyway. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, 100 episodes. i tell you what. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. moment has been so far. Um, I'm trying to really think of... I mean, it's difficult for myself to think. I put myself on the spot by saying that. Um, but what I'll do is, by the time the next episode rolls around, I'll give you my top... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. moment. So you guys let me know in the comments what your favourite Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. moment was. And I'll let you know what mine was at the start of the next episode.